Hello, this is Sue coming to you from McHenry County Farm Bureau Ag in the Classroom program. Members of the Farm Bureau and local farmers are happy to share with you information about crops grown right here in McHenry County. Today we are going to learn about corn. How many kinds of corn can you think of? You might be thinking about a kind of corn that has very colorful kernels. Indian corn or flint corn is one of the oldest varieties of corn. Indian corn is a type of corn that the Native Americans taught the early settlers how to grow. They would grind the corn kernels and use the flour to make things to eat. Today, Indian corn is used mainly for decorations. Maybe you are thinking about the delicious sweet corn that is a favorite at summertime picnics. This kind of corn is called a vegetable. The whole ear of sweet corn is harvested when the corn plant is green. You can buy ears of sweet corn in the summer at the grocery store at a farmer's market or a local roadside stand. When you buy a can of corn or a bag of frozen corn at the grocery store, you are buying sweet corn that was harvested in the summer and canned or frozen to be enjoyed all winter long. How about popcorn? One of my favorite snacks and the state of Illinois' official snack. Popcorn is grown in McHenry County and throughout the whole state. We love to eat popcorn at home and at the movies. Some people like to make decorations out of popcorn. Have you ever heard of field corn or dent corn? This is the kind of corn you see growing in large fields in McHenry County. Illinois is part of the Corn Belt. The Corn Belt is a region of states where 75% of the field corn grown in the United States is raised. States in the Corn Belt have rich, fertile soil and a climate or weather conditions that are just right for growing field corn. Indian corn, sweet corn, popcorn, and field corn all have the same life cycle or stages of growth and the same plant parts like roots, stalks, leaves, tassels, and ears. Corn seeds are also called kernels. Farmers buy big bags or boxes of corn seed. They plant the seeds in the springtime with tractors and planters. The seeds will germinate or start to grow in about 10 days. Corn sprouts or seedlings look like this. Leaves are long and thin and the stem of a corn plant is called a stalk. Farmers irrigate or water corn fields when there is too little rain. Corn grows very quickly in the hot summertime. Some corn grows 10 to 12 feet tall. Corn roots are thick and grow very deep into the ground to support this large plant. The tassel at the top of a corn plant is its flower. This tassel makes pollen. When pollen falls, it lands on the silk of ears that are just beginning to develop. When a piece of pollen travels through a strand of silk, a kernel of corn or another seed is formed. Each ear of corn contains anywhere from 500 to 1200 kernels or seeds. The kernels of corn on that ear 
are what farmers harvest when they grow field corn. Field corn is picked or harvested in the fall of the year when the corn plant is dry and golden colored. Combines are used to remove the kernels of corn from the cobs. The kernels are augered to a hopper on top of the combine and the cobs and the plant's stalk and leaves are shredded and spread back out onto the field. Semi-trucks haul field corn from the field to farm bins or grain elevators where corn is stored until a farmer decides to use his corn to mix feed for his animals or to sell it. Corn can be hauled to a grain processor who buys corn to make ethanol, food, or some other product. When corn is sold to other countries, it's called an export. Trucks or trains haul corn to river terminals where the corn is loaded onto large flat boats called barges. Field corn is used to make many different kinds of products. Just about half of all the field corn grown in the United States is used to make food for animals. Farm animals like pigs, cows, chickens, and fish, as well as pets like cats and dogs and even guinea pigs, eat food made with corn as an ingredient. Ethanol is a kind of fuel made out of field corn. You might see signs on gas pumps when you go to the gas station that say this gasoline contains 10% ethanol. Ethanol is important to our environment because it's renewable. That means when we need more ethanol, we can grow more corn. Ethanol is also very clean burning to reduce air pollution. Scientists have discovered how to make plastic out of field corn called bioplastic. Corn plastic or bioplastic is used to make bags, cups, straws, utensils, golf tees, and packing peanuts. Not only is corn plastic renewable, it is also biodegradable. When something is biodegradable, it decomposes or breaks down naturally. That's also good for the environment. Field corn can be processed into several different products. Corn meal, corn starch, corn oil, and corn syrup. These basic products are ingredients in many different things. Some things are edible, meaning you can eat them. And some things made out of field corn are non-edible, meaning they cannot be eaten. The next time you go shopping, Pick up some snacks made of field corn. Snacks like corn checks or corn flakes or kicks, cereals, pretzels, corn chips and cheese curls. Look at the labels and find the corn. Combine all these corn snacks in a large bag or sack. Shake your sack and enjoy your shake a sack snack.